U.S. President Donald Trump is lashing out at leakers in the intelligence community and the media that reports the contents of those leaks. The leaks are real. You're the one that wrote about them and reported them. I mean, the leaks are real. You know what they said. You saw it. And the leaks are absolutely real. The, the news is fake because so much of the news is fake. Nevertheless, the White House is having to deal with fallout from those leaks. Earlier this week, National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was forced to resign amid allegations he had inappropriate and possibly illegal phone calls with the Russian ambassador during the presidential transition. Flynn then gave misleading statements about the calls to Vice President Mike Pence. He was just doing his job. The thing is, he didn't tell our vice president properly, and then he said he didn't remember. So either way, it wasn't very satisfactory to me. Multiple U.S. news agencies report that Trump campaign aides were in contact with Russian intelligence operatives in the run-up to the U.S. election. Trump stopped short of flat-out denying this, but says he personally had nothing to do with it. The president says leaks are hampering his ability to improve relations with Russia. I think Putin probably assumes that he can't make a deal with me anymore because politically it would be unpopular for a politician to make a deal. I can't believe I'm saying I'm a politician, but I guess that's what I am now. Trump has asked the U.S. Justice Department to investigate the leaks, and the White House is considering appointing a New York businessman, Stephen Feinberg, to conduct a broad review of U.S. intelligence aimed at stopping those leaks. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.